Okay, so we're talking about Mercari. It is an online app for selling things, like a flea market or a garage sale. If you've watched my live streams over the past few years, I've talked about it quite a bit. I do like Mercari, uh, and because of that, they are sponsoring this video. So this is a paid review of Mercari. I'll be honest with you about the pros and cons, about my experiences with it, and how I think you can use it to make some money. So without further ado, let's just get going through it. Any comments you have, any questions you have, please comment below, and I'll respond to as many people as possible. I do like Mercari. I think they have a lot of great things things that other apps, other marketplaces don't have. So stick around if you are new, because I think, I know, this video is going to be very helpful. What is Mercari? What is Mercari? Let's get started with the basic stuff first. Mercari is like a garage sale or a flea market app on your phone. Very easy to use, very straightforward. Mercari is also the only app I personally have recommended to my girlfriend and my mom. Not because it has the best bulk features or because it has the lowest rates, but because it's very simple to use, very straightforward, uh, and very safe and reliable in my opinion. I've been recommending Mercari long before they paid me uh, just because I think it finds that good middle ground between the giant, massive bulk volume sellers and the small marketplaces that might not have any promotion at all. Uh, they have low fees, but they don't have any traffic. You have your good mixture of traffic on the app and easy to use user interface. Personally, I've sold over $5,000 in things since I first downloaded the app. Not a huge amount, you know, not my most popular destination, but for what I've used it for, it's been very effective. How does Mercari work? Mercari works like any of the other marketplace apps. I'm not gonna name them off because they're not paying me, but you know what I'm talking about. You find your item, you take a picture of it, you write the title, you write a description, you figure out the price, uh, and then you sell it. That's pretty much the gist of it. Now, some of the other marketplaces are gonna have like a, a, a lengthy credit card sign up process, or you're gonna have to verify certain aspects of your identity with utility bills, maybe. Mercari, you're gonna have to have your bank hooked up. It has to be a checking account. Uh, if it's a joint account with your partner, it can only be up to one account. You can't have two Mercari accounts paying to the same bank account. Uh, it's a fraud issue. Uh, but beyond that, once you have your bank hooked up, you can just start listing stuff. It's very simple. It takes maybe, you know, maybe five, ten minutes for a listing. Uh, and then it's populated chronologically to the thousands of people, however many there are, on Mercari right now. You can search for things in Mercari. You can use the search bar to say, I want to find some Funko Pops or you can just say, I wanna see what's recently listed. And I use this aspect as a buyer all the time. I'm looking for online arbitrage flips from Mercari to other websites uh, because it populates chronologically, so the newer stuff is at the top of the list, you can find some great deals. What kind of products do people sell on Mercari? You can sell pretty much anything on Mercari. There are limitations, of course, but what do I sell? Mainly, I'm using Mercari as my niche platform for higher-end collectible stuff, I'd say. I've noticed that I, there's a bit of a premium on Mercari stuff as opposed to other marketplaces. So if I have a hat uh, that, for example, might get 40 bucks on auction, I'll list it for 60 bucks on Mercari. I just recently sold a Space Jam hat, I believe, for uh, about 60 bucks that again was trending for about 20% lower than that on other marketplaces. It took a while to sell, but because of the nature of the buyers on Mercari, I thought, and I think I was right in thinking this, that they would pay more for trending or uh, in-demand items. It doesn't have to be that. You can sell whatever you want, but just me personally, that's what I've used it to focus on. Why I recommend Mercari. So why am I recommending Mercari to you right now? Why am I talking about it? Is it because they're paying me money? Well, yeah, part of it. But also, again, like I said, go back on my channel. I've talked about Mercari positively numerous times, uh, and it's because they have found this position between, like, so there's a few websites that are really good for, like, bulk books. You know what I'm talking about. There are a few websites better for bulk trading cards. But... 
what about someone who found the sweet spot? You know, what's the, the three little three little bears? Goldilocks blew down their house and they had the right right size porridge. This is the right size porridge. Uh, this is exactly what you want if you're not super full time, but you're also like, hey, I want to get started. I recommend Mercari to you if you have moments of hesitation. If you find larger platforms overwhelming, if you like that they have a zero dollar listing fee, I'll go over the fees soon, but like just so you know, at this point in the video, if you're kind of like, oh, I want to sell some stuff, I don't know how, I'm kind of worried, Mercari's for you. It's easy to use, it's safe, we'll talk about that too. This, there, I would say that, you know, out of like the big websites, it is the hardest to get scammed on Mercari because of how strict they are with their transactional procedures. Um, Mercari's a good place to start. You might not end up there, but I can't see an issue with starting there. Is Mercari safe? Okay, so I've got a quick anecdote for you. Take it back to probably 2008, I'd say, maybe 2005, a little bit earlier than that. My mother is buying a, uh, a volleyball net for us, her sons, and, and our friends, I guess, to play volleyball on. The internet's kind of new, you know, shopping online's kind of new. She buys them. We get sent some volleyball nets, but also they take $10,000 out of her account. What? That's insane, right? That's how the internet was. It was the Wild West. You could just rob people constantly, I guess. Will that ever happen to you with Mercari? No, absolutely not. They keep your info very safe. Uh, you're not going to get scammed on Mercari the same way you could have got scammed using, you know, PayPal to buy volleyball nets off some dropshipping website uh, a decade ago. Not going to happen. Uh, where you know we see more modern scams occurring in terms of e-commerce platforms is with return fraud. Um, and you know some of the big guys, not going to name names, but we all know that some of the big guys will, without hesitation, with glee in their eyes, gleaming at our at our pain and sorrow, they will throw sellers under the bus and they'll say oh well let's we'll give them their money back and we got to make our buyers so happy at all costs does mercari do that does mercari bend the knee to buyers no absolutely not and again that's why i think it's great if you're like hesitant about this stuff with mercari there is a three day return window so if you get your stuff within three days as a buyer, you get your stuff, you can say, hey, it got stepped on by the stupid dummy postman or, you know, whatever. I got shot by an arrow in transit. I don't know. Lots of stuff can happen. They have three days. When I when you sell something somewhere else, let's say you sell a, a, a super nice brand new rain jacket and oh, there's some storms of brewing and, and the person wears it, you know, they get it, they get delivered to them, they wear it. And then three weeks later, once the storms are over, it gets returned to you. And you're out money. You've got a used, soggy jacket being shipped back to you. You're paying shipping because, you know, they lied and, and the, the platform will always side with the buyer. Could that happen on Mercari? No. No, it can't. And that's why it's such an appealing, you know, you know platform, marketplace. Because three days... There's no buyer's remorse a week later. There's no, I got to pay the electric bill, so I got to salvage some of the money I spent the past month. If they buy it and they have three days of looking at it to keep it, either they rate you or it auto rates you as a seller and the money is yours. It's uh, It really is. It takes so much of the return fraud uh, and the risk and the worry out of selling online. All right, I think I've expressed to you a lot of the pros and cons of Mercari. I'm not getting paid per sign up, but I do take pride in my work, so I want you to be convinced uh, because I do actually believe in this product. Now, let's talk about a few quick hitters uh, and we'll just go through these because the answers are not me trying to like persuade you, but just more uh, facts about Mercari. How soon will I get paid? So with Mercari, you have three options after a sale. The money can stay in your Mercari balance. You can use it on Mercari and just kind of buy things that way. Or you can have it sent to your checking account. It has to be a checking account. It can't be a savings account. It can't be an account with a different Mercari account linked to it. It has to be your own checking account. And they will ACH transfer it to you. I'm not sure what that stands for. Probably something clearinghouse. Uh, and it gets to you in like two to five days. So if it's on a Monday, 
probably Wednesday or Thursday. If it's on a Friday, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's going to be that kind of like, a, you know, three business days plus or minus one. What if that two to five days is too long for you? Well, they also have instant pay. You get paid any time of the day. All you have to have is a valid debit card, valid government ID. You can get paid instantly. $2 fee. Uh, there are a few different stipulations, requirements uh, from the direct deposit. But let's say you're at a Target. You buy uh, some Hot Wheels. Sell those Hot Wheels instantly because they're hot. You know, it's Q4 retail arbitrage. You can instant pay out with the money you just made. Buy more Hot Wheels. Boom. You've doubled your profits. What are the fees on Mercari? Well, it's pretty simple. You're going to have two main kinds of fees. A marketplace transaction fee and a payment processing fee. The marketplace fee is 10%. The credit card transaction fees or whatever they're paying with the, the payment processing fees, it's gonna be 2.9% plus 30 cents. So if you sell something for $15, you're gonna pay a buck 50 in marketplace fees. And let's see, about 74 cents in credit card processing fees. So all in, you're about $225 off that $15 sale. Uh, we can also talk about shipping because shipping on Mercari is a little bit different. They rely more heavily on their prepaid labels, and I would recommend you use those if you are new. Uh, they're not going to be the best deal 100% of the time. Like Generally, if you can use a third-party app uh, to get uh, USPS volumetric pricing on priority mail that's going to be your best rate in a lot of cases but if you're like what is he talking about just use mercari's prepaid labels anything under one pound you're going to want to use a prepaid usps label the post office one to three pounds the best rate is fedex it's going to be fedex smart post so you drop off at a fedex and the post office does the last mile delivery and anything above three pounds it looks like ups has the best rate so again are those the absolute cheapest rates if you go on uh, like a, a third party app and type in the weight and the measurements on every single item you're selling potentially not no but again if you're just trying to move stuff out of your garage or you're just trying to have like an online on my phone flea market fun time uh, I would recommend using the uh, the prepaid shipping labels because it takes out so much work. My girlfriend uses Mercari prepaid shipping labels. I could do this for her. I do shipping all the time, but just because of the ease of doing all this, she has gone that route. Final takeaway time. I think Mercari certainly has some areas uh, where maybe it isn't the best for high volume sellers, uh, you know, book sellers who are doing 10,000 books a month. Very tough to argue Mercari is the best place for you. But everyone else who has a room full of stuff, a garage, helping grandma clean the attic out, Mercari is a great place to start, and I genuinely mean that. Uh, other websites have more, you know, a higher ceiling, but in terms of removing barriers to entry, in terms of making you feel comfortable in what otherwise could be a very scary thing, you know, starting an online business, selling stuff, opening your life to the uh, to the internet, you know, kind of, maybe I'm exaggerating, uh, it does make it easier. And so if you like that, please, I encourage you, download Mercari, use it. Uh, and if you like videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts on Mercari. Again, I will try to respond to everyone. I'll see you guys later. What do you think about this? You know, there's lots of apps out there. I use Mercari. I feel fine recommending it. But what are your thoughts? What, what worries you? Any pain points you have? Let's get this conversation going because you know what? The more uh, comments you have in the video that pertain to the subject matter, the more views that video gets. And we love boosting videos, don't we?